Well, I don't know if you've looked out your window lately, but it is so fun to see spring peeking through in the form of plants all around the region. One of my cherry trees is starting to blossom. And if you're looking to plant some late winter, early spring blooming flowers, how about Hellebores? Hello, what you say? All right, no clue, but here's the man that knows, Master Gardener Cisco Morris. Did I say it right? Hello, boy. Well, hello, boar. Hello, boar. I, I added a, a gra to the end of it. Just, you made it a little more sophisticated. <laughs> you know, you don't need to do much to make these plants look sophisticated. I mean, they are the most are romantic gorgeous? flowers, and just. <sighs> They're just awe-inspiring. They're so pretty. I'd never even heard of them before. And what What are they? They're hellebores. We call them Lenten rose. Oh, okay. And all the Lenten rose used to kind of just look like this. This actually is a real cool double. Yeah. It's got quite a name. Wedding party true love. Whoa. Ooh, la, Wedding la. party true love. There's a lot <laughs> going on here. <laughs> but this guy wouldn't open up for me. I've had it for a week. I've been spraying it with a hair dryer. <laughs> Don't you know who he is? Oh, I'll talk la, to this la. plant later. How hard is it to grow these plants? It's so easy to grow them. You stick them in the ground, they grow. They don't like real bacon hot sun. And, okay. And you know what's cool? Their flowers last three months. What? Yet they just last and last and last no out there kidding. in the garden. They're so gorgeous. And hey, and here's a cool way to show them. I, I oh. cut these doubles from my uh, garden. So you would float them in a in a bowl. You don't like yeah. put them in a vase. No, I float them in, in a, a bowl, bowl. And you know, so you could have. I've seen people with big bowls with like 50 flowers in there. Looks wow. so cool. Of course, then you're cutting them off your plant. <laughs> Yeah, so like you can either have them on the plant for three months or in a bowl for a week. Yeah, exactly. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Um, can I just ask, I, in the intro I said this is a late winter blooming, early spring. Wait, when do these bloom? They, they start, each one's different. So some, like this guy right here, look at how cool these flowers are. Oh on my that. gosh. This is <gasps> going to be a real this charmer. This is called a winter jewel. I can't wait to see this. This is a new jewel series. They're just coming out with all this color and the flowers. And uh, so I'm really excited about that. So this guy seems to be taking forever to bloom, you know. So wait, when does he bloom? Well, it's, uh, normally they'd be blooming by now, but maybe these jewel ones are a little slower. Well, maybe they're like, so is winter here in yeah. uh, Seattle this but year. This has been blooming already for a month. A Same month? with this guy, oh. and these these guys have been blooming about a month already. Wow. And they'll they'll keep blooming for another couple of months out in the garden. You know, they're so cool. Are they? How are, are they hardy? Like, how do they do with uh, you know scavengers like deers and rabbits? Oh, I've it, seen it, a lot of rabbits in my yard lately. Nothing eats these. Not a, it, I, they are a bit poison from what I understand, but wow. who's going to eat that, you know? But the rabbits don't touch them, okay. deer don't touch them. And look at the foliage on this guy. Oh, la, la. How, how, this is, okay, that is beautiful foliage. I can't believe how pretty that is. Uh, how big do they get? Do they become like a bush? Like, what, what yeah, are we expecting? Yeah, well, that, this will get about three feet wide and three feet tall. Okay. That's what most of them do. Although, you know, I'm sure this guy's going to be a lot dinkier, you know, just because. <laughs> you are just <laughs> not friends with that plant. Uh, I'm still mad at that for not we'll, opening it up we're for gonna me. Talk to you guys, we need to mediate between you two <laughs> later. Um, how, you said it needs, it doesn't want hot beating sun, but like, I have an area in my backyard where I can't get anything to grow. It's typically very dark. I don't know that it gets a lot of water. Like what, would this be a good plant for that? I don't know. They, okay. They're tough, but not tough enough for that. I'll bring in some plants one of these days <laughs> that could grow in those conditions. Please do. But <laughs> nothing grows next to this fourth plant. These so like filtered sun. bright shade. Bright That's shade. That's what they like. And I've got them out in my perennial garden. They're kind of nestled in with other plants and mm -hmm. they love that. They just think that's, but here's something I, uh, people need to know. Mm -hmm. So like that leaf there, especially the one more frontwards, Ew. this guy. Somebody's been eating it and getting up yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. So they, they do get bugs. That's the one thing. And sometimes, you know, they get disease. So see how that's. So like, that's disease. Yeah. So what you do is new growth starts around Christmas. Okay. 
you cut off all the old leaves. And when you the do leaves that, or the stalks, just, just the leaves? Just the leaves. Okay. Yeah, all the old leaves like that. Leave the new stuff growing up, and then it looks so much better, no disease. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, that's the trick to growing these and keeping them really healthy and happy. Mm -hmm. Cut off all the old junk. Okay. But wait oh. till it starts to grow to do it. I'm looking at the price. They're not cheap. No. They're not inexpensive. They're they're not like a, it's a, it's 25, 26 bucks right here, but I mean, you know, it's gonna last you a long but, time. But when the first about I don't know how many years ago it was the first uh, double flowers mm -hmm. came out, I got on a waiting list. It was two years, and I paid 200 bucks for one this big. <laughs> How do I you, could, okay, wait, how do you justify this to Mary when you get paid $200 for a plant? It's easy. I sneak it in when she's not oh home. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I do not want to be complicit in this. It's kind of like me in clothing. Wow. Well, I am delighted that I got to meet the hellebore today because yeah. I think this is just a beautiful plant. I'm glad they're not $200 anymore because yeah, me that's too. never going to happen. But now we can all try to plant something unique and beautiful like this. I, I just think it's just so, hello, I'm a cute plant. And they stay in bloom three months. I mean, that's a bang for your yeah, buck yeah, if you ask three me. Three months of beauty and it makes you feel like spring's finally coming. I love it. Nice to have a little preview. Thank you so much, Cisco. Oh, Good luck you. with Mary at home later. Uh, and thank you for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email and share your thoughts. But most importantly, get out there and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.